the process of the artists coming to the city that had not been here, the process of making work here would open up new relationships for them. Can you talk about that experience for you? Yes, I was invited almost one year ago by Dan, and uh, in my way of working, I always work uh, site specifically and uh, in uh, the place uh, I created the work, and so this means uh, interacting with the community uh, in, uh, in a way or another. So when I was invited, my first interest and since the beginning was working with the Latino community coming to New Orleans, but then these people that are considered illegal at the same time are rebuilding uh, not only the city, in some, some way also giving a hope to the city by rebuilding it. So it was uh, this contrast between il being illegal and being uh, fundamental for it that was for me interesting. And also for me coming from Europe was uh, of course uh, a questioning of uh, the American dream. What is the American dream today? Is there, is there still an American dream? And uh, so I decided to work in three different ways. Uh, in sound, there are 71 histories that I've recorded. It's a one-hour sound. Uh, I, of course, I wanted uh, not to cut out the audience that uh, couldn't understand Spanish, so I translated some of the main phrases in English as well. And I took some of the photographs of the people I met uh, and uh, the places they were working. And then the third part was giving a taste of Mexico. So I've created this Mexican dinner. So you accomplished all of this. This is a mythic amount of work. You accomplished all of this in how many days? I came uh, 12th of December. So I, I'm the artist that was uh, the most here. I've been uh, more than one month. More than, yeah. How does it feel to you to have representations of them here, but they are not here themselves? It's full of them. <laughs> it is. You yeah. were able to get and, uh, here. Yeah, absolutely. There are, there are, the we were, they were coming. I think at the moment there are more than 200 uh, Latinos. Which here. is which the is opening, and they never even know. It was two hours to explain every time. Camp. What is camp? Be between San, uh, between San Charles and Magazine. So then, not only were you able to build a relationship with them personally, but also to build a relationship between them and an art organization yeah, that proposes I, to I represent them. Yes, I, I can tell you very very uh, answer exactly to this. I think that there is a point that is very important. Of course, I'm not so demagogic to think that art is, you know, for for everybody. Of course, there is kind of this oligarchic uh, aspect of art that. Uh, can be nice or can be bad, but unfortunately it is like this. But at the same time, opening up to different reading in different layers, a different possibility of interacting and inviting a different public is for me a mission as well as an artist. Though I find not only because I interact with the community, but also because I think as an artist I need also to have not only a specific public, but also to uh, enter in dialogue with different people that usually probably wouldn't go to a museum. So it is uh, this you can achieve today with art in public space, but you can also do the opposite, uh, just bringing the audience to uh, the institutional so, space. So that process in and of itself is part of your art overall? Definitely, definitely so.